How's it going guys? Chemiclapes here and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. So in this guide, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the blueprint for the iron batteries. Now, these things require one iron cube to fabricate, um, but they can also create the iron power cells as well. And it is a real game changer. The iron batteries alone have 500 units of power. Uh, so you're not going to run out anytime soon. Okay, so I've been racking my brain in terms of how do we go about this. So to unlock the blueprint, you need to scan six artifacts. Uh, well, alien artifacts. Now, I could give you a playlist, which is fine, and then we could all start from this point and keep going backwards and forwards. But we're going to do one trip. We're going to do one trip and go around and scan six artifacts. And it's going to be, hopefully, reasonably smooth. Okay, so where do we need to start from initially? So, initially, we're going to be starting from the place I always start from is this ice formation here which will be north of your light pod your light pod will be typically over there there or there there's several spawn locations for so don't start from your drop pod um, start from this formation here directly underneath it guys if you can do okay what do we need for it everything else now I've chosen the six easiest locations obviously there's 15 alien artifacts in the game uh, this is just six of them this is what i think is the easiest six in terms of depth in terms of location how far they are and the day obviously the dangers as well uh, and how easy they are to sort of get to okay let's do this i'm going to switch it today just to make this thing easier on you guys um so we can get better vision right what do we need for it we need Hike past the tank, definitely. We want sea glide because we're going to be going down the sea monkey nest type caves within the kelp forest. Uh, you'll need fins, um, and that's it. Ideally, ultra hike past the tank like I've got, but hike past the tank will do it. Rebreather as well. We're going to be going to each location in the sea truck. You'll just need, um, we well, won't need any depth modules for it on this particular one. If you're doing it in the sea glider from these locations right okay so first one we're going to be going two clicks right of southwest as you can see guys on the screen 520 odd meters or so now this like i said guys is just a cave sea monkey cave lots of crash fish lots of oxygen plants to help with oxygen um that's going to be your biggest killer really crash fish and oxygen now i do recommend obviously take medicates um and obviously have a good source of oxygen okay let's go two clicks right of southwest just underneath this iceberg should i say behind it the iceberg itself and then what you should see so, not on this side guys, on this side here is an entrance. Okay, this can get a little bit tricky, so do pay attention to the video. Okay, now this is the array module, which is 140 meters down. To get to this, we're going to be sort of going northeast-ish. We're going to slightly deviate, but pretty much northeast. Okay, oxygen plants, we need... And then I'm going to curve around, as I said guys, just try and keep northeast. Can get a little bit confusing at times, without a doubt. Go north, northeast. And then there's this channel here. You see it directly below and opening. And that, guys, is your first artifact to be able to scan it. There you go, array module, done. Okay, let's get back to the seam off and then we're going to go from this location here to the next one. Okay guys, next one, artifact two. Okay, so from this location, we're going to point directly sort of one and a half clicks right of south if you can do. It's a distance of 375 metres. 
Uh, now this one is a little bit deeper. It's typically around about 230 meters, I believe. It's the obelisk artifact. Okay, let's do this. So one and a half clicks right of south, guys. As hard as it is, just follow these directions as close as possible. You should see that precursor tech just keep going past it one and a half clicks right of south okay again guys this is a sea monkey cave um, so oxygen again is going to be the biggest issue and just navigating around it making sure you don't get lost so what we've got is this big opening here I'll do a bit of a scan so you can get familiar with it and then we're going to be going straight down here Sea glider again. Two hundred and thirty-five on this one. Watch out for the crash fish. Okay, oxygen plants, loads of. And this one, we're going to be going sort of southwest and west. I believe the best way from this first oxygen plant is this way. We just got to go deep, guys. Most of the pathways sort of interlink. And then here we go. Reasonably straightforward. First, sorry, second alien artifact is scanned. Obelisk. One of two. New technology acquired. Okay, guys, let's get back to the sea truck. Okay, guys, third alien artifact now okay so where do we need to go from this location now this one we're going to be going just around about one click left of east around about 670 meters now this one can get a little bit harder to find because obviously the thermal spires biome is just dark dark anyway during the day uh, it's a dark biome so do pay attention okay so we're just hovering over, we want to sort of hover over the terrain, keep on that one click left of east, if you do you should be fine. Now the other thing we've got to worry about is cryptosuchuses in this area, um, but usually the bark is worse than the bite, do around about 9 damage to the sea truck, so just be careful. Okay, one click left of east. Just keep on going above the spires. What we're looking out for is a sort of channel. There's a lot of them. So you're going to have to really keep your eyes open. Now there's this one here. Keep going past that one. And then it sort of tails round a little bit. This opening here. Now in terms of sort of vision on it what it looks like you can sort of see and then we're just going to go here but the closer you get to it you can see what I mean so there's this opening here not many of them have it I'm just going to go down and this guys is your third artifact Okay, mineral distillery scanned. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay guys, this one we're gonna be going pretty much right in the middle of north and northeast. Maybe a little tiny bit left if you can do. This is another sea monkey nest, so nothing to worry about easy one just keep on going past this big opening just try and get vision just follow this guide another opening and this is the one guys okay so there's actually three openings go to the 
go to any of them, it doesn't really matter. They all link together out of the sea truck and in we go. Now we're going to be going again north, northeast-ish. Plenty of oxygen plants, but we're going to have to double back slightly on ourselves. So just keep going down as far as you can do. Keep going north, northeast-ish. Follow these oxygen plants as fast as you can do. And then I believe it's this one. So when we get to this location here, you can't actually go any further any more north. The nest, turn the other way, go face south, and you'll see these little cave entrances here. Just go straight down. And here we go, guys. Water analysis station. Okay, the fifth. Artifact. Okay guys, it's a fourth, on to the fifth. Now, the fifth one unfortunately, the time has come where it's going to get a little bit more dangerous. Unfortunately we're going right bang on into where the Shalassara is, resides, pretty much all the time. Um, is there any way around it? No, but if you keep low and do what I do then you should be okay. So where do we need to go? We're going to be going south -e between southeast and south, just short of 300 meters. And go slow, even if you've got a booster. If you've got a perimeter defense system, then wow, good job's a good one. Use it if you need to. Okay, guys, keep your eyes open at this level now. So typically. The big boy spawns over there, over this way. You hear him? Yeah, we can hear him. Okay, so what we're looking for, there he is. Okay, is this channel just down there where he's hovering over. What I recommend is you wait for him to make a pass at one of the Cryptosuchuses or move away like he has done and do a dive for it. Okay, into the channel. Now he's safe here, he's not, he can't get down this far. Out of the sea truck, and straight down. What you want to do effectively is go into this channel here, loop round, it just loops round, keep going. And here, guys, is your fifth artifact. Okay guys, I'm going to get out of the sea truck. Now you've got to be careful when you do this. Obviously, you get in the sea truck, you elevate, um, he's waiting for you. A lot of the time he will get you, uh, he's going to do a bit of damage. Uh, but if you're in the sea truck, then yeah, just wait for him to pass. Okay, so where do we need to go for the final artifact? We're going to be going effectively pretty much southwest, around about 650 meters. Um, this one's a very, very easy location. We've just got to get out of here without, without getting damaged. So wait for the, wait for it. We're doing it. Let's do it. If it gets you guys, just get your bearings and then keep on the southwest. It's pretty much, sorry, it's one click right of southwest from that location. Just slightly. But it's not hard to find, it's on the island. So there's a lot of things I can tell you about anyway on the route. Okay, just keep on going. Okay, so you should be eating Delta Island now. What you're looking for is a rock formation with a lot of penguins. Just hug it, up the surface. Keep bobbing up, get some vision on it. 
If you want to get out, then do so. Just be careful of the cryptosuchuses. Lots of them around this area. I'm going to get out. Okay, so what we're looking for is this jagged edge. I know there's, there's a lot of them, a lot of jagged edges. But if you just look for this one here, you're just at the back of the island, effectively. So just keep on going. Keep close to this edge, you'll be fine with the crypt secrets. Or you can just go there in your sea truck, doesn't matter. And just mount this, guys. And then what we're going to be doing is straight forward, northwestish, and then where this plant is, don't go that way, just where this heat plant is. Let's go through here, follow it through, and here you go, guys. This is your sixth and final artifact material analysis station unlocked. New and there we go Bye. guys iron battery unlocked so that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video hope it works out for you um any comments if you disliked it dislike it if you liked it then give us a big thumbs up okay guys remember like subscribe and comment ciao for now bye bye